Airsoft sniper rifles can be fickle at times, and finding the right one that actually works can be painful. Does the rifle shoot at a high enough FPS? Does the rifle need a ton of mods? Or does the rifle feel good shooting it for extended periods of time? These are all questions many people may look at when shopping for an airsoft sniper rifle. With all that in mind, what if we told you that there was a sniper rifle where you can do all of that? A rifle that shoots at a decent FPS out of the box, has a good amount of parts for it, and is light enough to be used for extended periods of time. Amiibo will have you believe that this is the only sniper rifle you're ever going to need, but does it live up to that promise? Hi guys, today we're taking a sneak peek at a brand new sniper rifle offering from Amoeba, the AS-01. Now in times past, we have known the Amoeba brand for their affordable and stylish M4s that have taken the world by storm. This is their first sniper rifle offering, and to be honest, if I were to imagine Amoeba come up with a sniper rifle, this is probably how it would have looked like. As a gun designed to be your entry point into the world of sniping, there are a few features on this gun that make it stand out amongst the many that are vying for your attention. Right away you're going to notice the very modern stylings of this gun, it's definitely one of the better looking ones out there, though there is no real steel counterpart to it. The gun also comes in four different colors, grey, OD green, black, and tan. They all feature a very stiff, fluted aluminum outer barrel at the end in which you will find a 23mm counterclockwise threaded tip, and you will find that right underneath the thread protector. Amoeba claims that their proprietary suppressor will be a seamless fit, giving this gun a more tactical kind of a look. However, for you guys who want to use your existing suppressors, Amoeba did say that they will make an adapter for 14mm sometime in the future. The inner barrel is a 500mm 6.03 copper barrel that's cut and tapered to the front. Great attention to detail, guys. On the bottom of the handguard, you'll find the adapter for your bipod and sling. The gun is very balanced. The rubber butt pad and the polymer body feels very good in your hands. The gun being light actually is an additional bonus since being the sniper, you will be using this gun on the field for an extended period of time. Additionally, you can exchange the cheek riser and grip for better ergonomics, although they are optional accessories from Amoeba. Moving to the magazine. It can hold up to 45 rounds, and unlike some modern sniper rifles, the magazine release is placed at a very logical location, behind the mag well. It also features release levers on the trigger guard for faster reloads. The magazine is positioned as such where it feeds BBs directly into the chamber. On other systems, this required a loading tube, causing all kinds of issues if your magazine wasn't fully loaded. I do wish they would have made the magwell flared for faster reloads. The magazine is also quite large, making reloading a little awkward if you have smaller hands. Not to mention that the magazine relief is a little stiff. From the magazine, we now move to the bolt. The action is short stroke for your quick follow up shots. The nozzle itself is steel. The action itself is quite smooth. And you'll also find a cocking indicator on the left side of the bolt. This is a feature you don't often find on other guns. The spring of the gun is an AEG spring, making it very upgradable and easy to replace. For those of you looking for a rifle that can be upgraded to extreme FPS, this may not be for you because the cylinder volume is not that big compared to the inner barrel. Having said that, the potential to upgrade to serious power is there and should satisfy most recreational players. On the top is a standard 20 meter rail for your optics and towards the front is the hop-up. It is easily adjustable with an allen key. The hop-up is actually a VSR-10 hop-up, so you can expect great performance. The safety is a regular safety you'd find on any airsoft sniper rifle. The trigger face is quite wide and flat, giving your finger maximum contact with it. And the trigger guard itself, it's wide enough for you to easily shoot the gun, even if you're wearing gloves. Upon cocking, you will find the trigger is right at the point of fire, very short stroked. You can also adjust the trigger by removing the lower portion of the gun. Tighten or loosen the screws here for your desired pull. Moving to the rear of the gun, you'll find the sling mount and the cheek riser, which is adjustable by buying the extra accessory as mentioned earlier before. Though a great looking gun, you'll still find some seams and color deformities from the molding process, and it's also very prone to scratching. But overall, it's a very solid and tight fitting entry level gun. Using 0.2 gram BBs, our test gun chronos at
an average of 418 FPS. So we're back here at the warehouse and we're going to take a few shots with the Amoeba AS-01 30 meters downrange. Let's see how accurate the gun is. The action is very short stroke, making follow up shots really, really easy and very fast. It's also very lightweight, really easy to shoulder, feels really good. You can definitely shoot it for longer periods of time. The trigger pull is also very short. If you come a little closer, you can see what I mean. The trigger is already very short stroked, right at the breaking point. Standing 30 meters out, the gun performed quite well. There were a few flyers as we can see up top and on the bottom, well that was for me trying to get used to how the gun fired at that distance. However, we can see in the middle once I got used to it, the grouping is actually quite tight. So 30 meters out, very effective, you get a pretty tight grouping. We started this video by posing the question, can the Amoeba AS-01 be your only sniper rifle? No, it cannot, but it can be your first. It actually has a lot to offer as an entry level gun, though there are some problems with the molding and there are some shortcomings concerning the air volume with the cylinder, you're still getting a great looking gun that shoots pretty good. Not to mention that there will be a wide array of accessories coming such as the cheek riser and the pistol grip. And guys, if you feel like you need a stylish Amoeba M4 to go along with your Amoeba sniper rifle, feel free to check out our review for the AM013 over here or the AM016 over here. Now the Amoeba AS-01 will be coming out later this year. If you would like to be amongst the first to get your hands on this awesome sniper rifle, what I would do is keep an eye out on our Facebook, Instagram, and of course website. Pre-orders are coming soon. Again guys, I've been Mark, aka Blue Steel, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Red Wolf TV. Have a good one.